Managing stock to avoid stockouts, but also don't spend too much holding excess inventory is a challenge. The answer to this challenge lies in inventory control, a critical aspect of operations research. Today we will discuss topics like what is inventory control, its techniques, practical application and challenges, let's start. What is inventory control in operations research? Inventory control is all about managing stock, whether it's raw materials, work in progress items, or finished goods, to ensure that businesses can run smoothly and meet customer demands. It's not just about avoiding stockouts, it's also about minimizing costs. Operations research, or or, helps us achieve this balance through mathematical models and strategies. Key concepts in inventory control. Before getting in depth of inventory control, you should know key concepts of inventory control. 1. Stock levels, determining the right amount of inventory to hold. 2. Reorder points, identifying when a new order should be placed to avoid stockouts. 3. Lead time, the time taken between placing an order and receiving the inventory. 4. Safety stock, extra inventory held to protect against variability in demand or supply. 5. Demand forecasting, predicting the future demand for products to avoid overproduction or stockouts. These concepts are foundational for inventory control models, especially in operations research. Inventory control models in operations research. Operations research uses mathematical modeling to optimize inventory control, reducing costs while maintaining a smooth flow of goods. Some of the most widely used models are as follows, let's understand each. We have a dedicated video on traditional inventory control techniques as well you can check out that. Link in description. 1. Economic Order Quantity, EOQ, Model The EOQ model helps determine the optimal order quantity that minimizes total inventory costs, including holding costs and ordering costs. It assumes that the demand rate is constant, and the lead time is fixed. Formula Where D is the demand rate, units per period. S is the setup or ordering cost per order. H is the holding cost per unit per period. Example. Suppose a business has an annual demand of 10,000 units, an ordering cost of $50 per order, and a holding cost of $2 per unit per year. Using the EOQ formula. This result indicates that the company should order 500 units per order to minimize total costs. 2. News Vendor Model. The news vendor model is used for products with uncertain demand and a short selling season, like newspapers, fashion items, or perishable goods. This model aims to balance the costs of under-ordering, leading to stockouts and lost sales, and over-ordering, leading to excess inventory and potential waste. Formula Where Q asterisk is the optimal order quantity. CU is the underage cost, cost of lost sales. CO is the overage cost, cost of excess inventory. F caret dash 1 is the inverse of the cumulative demand distribution. 3. S. Q. Inventory model. The S Q model is a continuous review system where orders are placed when inventory drops to a reorder point S, and the order quantity is fixed at Q. This model is used when demand is random and lead time is uncertain. The two key parameters are reorder point S, the inventory level at which a new order is triggered, order quantity Q, the quantity ordered to replenish the stock. This model allows companies to strike a balance between carrying costs, by limiting inventory, and minimizing stockouts. 4. Just-in-time, JIT, inventory system. Just-in-time, JIT, is a lean inventory management strategy that aims to reduce inventory holding costs by receiving goods only when they are needed in the production process. JIT emphasizes minimizing waste and improving efficiency by synchronizing inventory levels with production schedules. The JIT system relies heavily on demand forecasting and strong supplier relationships. It reduces carrying costs and ensures that products are delivered just in time for use, but it is vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. Advanced Inventory Control Techniques In addition to traditional models, advanced operations research techniques like simulation, dynamic programming, and probabilistic models are used to tackle complex inventory control problems. Let's understand some of them. 1. Simulation Models Simulation models are used to analyze and optimize inventory systems where uncertainty in demand, lead times, or other variables is present. 
By creating a virtual model of an inventory system, businesses can test different scenarios and identify the best strategy to minimize costs and meet customer demand. 2. Stochastic Inventory Models These models take into account the uncertainty in demand and supply by using probability distributions. Stochastic models are particularly useful for industries that face highly variable demand, such as fashion or seasonal products. 3. Multi-echelon Inventory Models a multi-echelon inventory system includes multiple stages or levels in a supply chain, such as suppliers, manufacturers, warehouses, and retailers. Multi-echelon models optimize the inventory across the entire supply chain, not just at a single stage, ensuring better coordination and efficiency. Practical Applications of Inventory Control in Operations Research Inventory control techniques are applied in various industries, including retail, manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, and aerospace. Few examples of how inventory control is used in different contexts. Retail industry, retailers like Walmart use sophisticated inventory control systems, such as the EOQ model and demand forecasting, to ensure products are available on the shelves while minimizing carrying costs. Automated systems track inventory levels in real time, triggering reorders when stock runs low. Automotive industry, Companies like Toyota employ the just-in-time, JIT, inventory system to ensure parts are available exactly when needed in production, reducing the need for large storage spaces and lowering costs. E-commerce, giants like Amazon utilize advanced inventory optimization algorithms to predict customer demand and determine the optimal stock levels at each distribution center. This allows them to offer fast delivery times without overstocking. Challenges in Inventory Control while inventory control is crucial for supply chain efficiency, it also presents several challenges. 1. Demand forecasting accuracy. Inaccurate demand forecasting can lead to overstocking or stockouts, impacting customer satisfaction and increasing costs. 2. Supply chain disruptions. Global supply chain disruptions, such as natural disasters or pandemics, can significantly affect inventory levels and lead times. 3. Cost management. Balancing holding costs, ordering costs, and stockout costs is a continuous challenge for businesses, especially those with complex or global supply chains. So that's a wrap, in conclusion inventory control ensures that the right products are in the right place at the right time, hence driving success in an increasingly competitive marketplace. Do like share and subscribe for more such videos.